You know, the word tells us that we are the play, we are the pay it forward. The pain and the problems that I have, I'm hoping that as we go through these, these meetings and these sessions, that you hear something, that you get a spark of something that's going to change who you are and the path that you're on. You know, we had, we've been, we've been sharing songs and stuff throughout the message. So we'll add two songs here by the same artist. Kendrick Lamar in 2015 had a song that said, it's going to be all right. And here's parts of it, choruses and different elements of it, because I don't have time to do the whole thing. And he said, all my life I had to fight. All my life I had hard times like, yo, bad trips like, yo, I'm messed up, homie. You're messed up, homie. But if God is for us, then we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Scheming and letting me tell you about my life. Painkillers only. Put me in twilight. Wouldn't you know? I, we've been hurt. Don't, wouldn't you know? That the only God we the Lord knows. Tell him that I tell him that to come and get me. Reaping everything that I sow. Wouldn't you know? We've been hurt before. Been down before. Been our pride was low. Looking to the world and saying, where do we go? We hate Popo because they want to kill us dead in the street for show. I'm at the preacher though. My knees are getting weak and my gun might blow. But if God got us, then we going to be all right. We going to be all right. We going to be all right. Do you feel me? Do you hear me? We going to be all right. All right. So here we have an individual in this song that is really talking about, look, there are struggles, there are choices. And we got to decide, are we going to rise above it and be all right, or are we going to fall to it? And he mentions God constantly in this, because if God be for us, we're going to be all right. And we're going to talk about God in a minute. Then in his next release in 2017, Kendrick Lamar, in his hit song, DNA, wrote these, wrote these words. I'm going to try to get it right. Uh, I got, I got, I got loyalty. I got royalty inside my DNA. I got cocaine quarters, peace. So, God, I got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power. I got poison. I got pain. I got joy inside my P and my DNA. I got hustle. I got ambition that flows inside my DNA. I was born like this. Since this one like this, immaculate conception and transform like this, because like this, Jishua is my weapon, is my new weapon. We'll come back to that Jishua comment. I don't contemplate, I meditate, then off your head, then I put the kids to bed, I go dark, I got I got evil that rots inside my DNA, I got off, I got a troublesome heart inside my DNA. I know murder, I know convictions, I know burners, I know boosters, I know burglars, I know battlers, I know dead, I know redemption, scholars, I know fathers who are dead with their kids, and I wish I was I was fed forgiveness. Okay, so what does he say? All of us have good, all of us have evil, all of us may be a byproduct of our ancestry. We may be a byproduct of our family, okay? But here is the thing. You got realness in your DNA. You are you can take whatever you whatever your design is, whatever you are born with, whatever God whatever ability that you receive from your parents or God, depending on how you feel about something, and you can take those negatives and overcome. Right? That's a statistic. And since we've been hearing um, God throughout this used by either Tupac. Tupac had a song which he said, only God can judge me. So when you listen to a lot of this stuff, God names come up. When you listen to Kendrick's song, God name came up. When you listen to Kodak um, Black song, God name comes up. The preacher comes up. I'm at the preacher door with my gun getting ready to blow. I only have, you know, I'm reaping what I sow. So again, be mindful of the decisions that you make. But since everyone has mentioned him in some way, shape, or form, then let's see what he says. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I got to leave you with three scriptures so that you know what God says about you. In Deuteronomy 30 and 19, he says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. What is he saying? 
I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Lamar, your Kendrick Lamar put it this way. I got all this stuff inside my DNA. I got pain. I got love. I got joy. I got fear inside my DNA. And what God is saying, I have put a path before you that you can choose life and not fall for those traps and those negative situations. Let's see. Let's get you another a quick verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 29 and 11. So God said earlier, I'm laying life and death before you. And now he's saying, look, I have good things for you. Don't fall for the quick money. Don't fall for the quick situations. Don't um, don't get wrapped up in the, in the life. Don't get wrapped up in what's happening around you because I have plans to make you, to prosper you. And prosperity may not be living on the in a mansion and having, you know, $2 million in your bank account. Prosperity can be living a good life, having a good life, being a good father, having good kids, all right? Breaking the cycle of, of imprisonment in your family. That is a great way to prosper, you know? So anyway, he says he wants to prosper you. And then finally, John 3, 15 and 17, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish or die, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn it, the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John 3, 15 through 17. I don't know uh, what you heard about God. I don't know what your religious backgrounds are. I don't know, but here's something that I need you to know. God didn't send Jesus down to condemn us. He sent Jesus down to save us. And in and, and, um, and Lamar's song, he says, only Jeshua. Jeshua means Jesus. So only Jesus, the word Jeshua means salvation. So he's saying only salvation can save us out of this mess. And here we have the scripture that tells us that God so loved us that when we were out there doing crazy stuff, when we were out there being angry and acting up, when we were out there not really loving God, that he loved us enough to send his son to give us a way out, to give us, uh, give us uh, a purpose and a plan to not fall for the plans of the enemy. I'm going to close with these two quotes. They're both from Abraham Lincoln. I want you to think about these if you can. Write them down. Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right, Abraham Lincoln. So basically going back to Kendrick Lamar, if we have God, we're gonna be all right. I don't care what's happening around us, we're gonna be okay. And then he also says this, however, Abraham Lincoln, you can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all of the time that you cannot fool all the people all the time. Look, you know your heart. You know what you want to be. You know what you want to do. Ultimately, as we said earlier, the choice is yours. You know, whether or not you choose to, hey, I want to be on God's side. I want to get out of this mess and I want to learn more. I want to study more. I want to talk to people who can help me. Getting back to those good role models, those good positive situations or do you want to act the fool and be like those folks who's like trying to trick people trying to overcome people trying to manipulate people because at some point that's going to blow up in your face and whether it blows up in your face through prison whether it blows up in your face with mama with, you know with, with, with mama drama okay whether it shows up and not being able to maintain a job, not being able to get into school. All those things show up because when we are not determined and we don't have a plan and we don't walk in some, some of those areas we talked about earlier, then we're just moving, we're being tossed to and fro, following circumstances and following situations. So as we bring this to a close, I hope and I pray as a minister that what I said made sense, that 
you heard God in this. You at least heard your conscience in this telling you, hey, now's the time to make a decision. Now's the time to get off this path. And now you have some basic elements to help you do that. So the last slide is going to be read them, pro, you know, process them, do them with Google. There's so many ways to get information on your passion. There's so many ways to find out information. You know, in my day, you get to go to the library to get information where the books were. But we have cell phones now. We have so many ways to gather information. So, hey. I pray that you are a blessing when you get out of the situation that, you know, that you will be on the path that will prosper you and make you the best you, you can be. Thank you for listening. Have a great life.